Um, there's a lot of people that use three-dimensional drawings right now, a lot of renderings, computer renderings. Those are very good. We use those, we use those quite a bit. But we use them as also as a device with models because the models allow people to get a vantage point that always changes as they start looking at the model. So if you're looking at a model like this or you move your head like this, you start to see little differences. If you look at a drawing, no matter how you move your head, the drawing is going to be the same drawing. So this allows you to start understanding it in three dimensions. So when you see those other drawings, they become a lot clearer. Isn't it more expensive than just doing CAD drawings or 3D renderings? Or uh, Models can be, uh, they can be expensive. But one of the things about building models are two things. One is the technology of building models has changed rapidly over the last five to ten years. We have three-dimensional software that allows us to literally build that information into a computer and then go to either, say, a milling machine or a laser cutter or a 3D printer and convert that into a file that automatically gets turned into part of that model. Saves a tremendous amount of time, but by doing a model that has information on it, the client understands it more so that as you go to the next level of drawing, there's clarity behind that design. So therefore, you don't have as many changes. So in effect, the model helps the process from the beginning to be more efficient. And the more efficient the process, the more you'll actually save money in the long run.